Hey Capricorn, here with a reading for the sign of Capricorn. Um, this reading could resonate with anyone who has Capricorn strongly on their chart, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, I am going to be using my free form way of reading today. I'll be looking at your energy, going into the energy of the situation around you, and seeing what we can figure out about the next upcoming um, period of time, the next week or two. Let's go ahead and get started. <clears throat> Current energy for Capricorn. Current energy for Capricorn. Current energy for Capricorn. And current situation that is going on around Capricorn. The environment and the situation that's going on around Capricorn. <clears throat> environment situation that's going on around Capricorn. All right, let's get right into it, Cappy. Let's get right into it. Well, here we go, Capricorn. We have the chariot next to the Ten of Wands, next to the world energy. So um, this is you here really. Oh God, these cards are just beautiful, aren't they? This is the second reading I'm doing with this deck. It's a brand new deck, and it's just absolutely gorgeous for, from my perspective anyway. Um, we have the chariot energy. This means that you found um, a balance within yourself, Capricorn, where you're understanding um, that there is a, a balance that is needed within your own health that is um, a mixture of rest and revival and action and um, excitement. Right. So so this is um, you're really learning how to blend these energies. You're um, getting enough rest. You're eating well. Um, you're understanding the importance of downtime. But you're also then when the time is right and when you're ready to go, you're taking action and you're moving forward. And when we work in this kind of a way, Capricorn, we can really move forward quite powerfully into the experience that that we're um that we're headed into. And I see for you, you are closing out a cycle. Closing out a cycle with the Ten of Wands energy is no easy feat, Capricorn. And um, this tells me of the tremendous strength that you have in doing this. When we get into the Ten of Wands energies, um, it is unloading. You're unloading, um, unloading from a, from a journey that you've been on. And <clears throat> what I'm seeing in my mind is um, it does take, it's, it's like you have a, a, a bus full of, you, you, it's like a school bus driver. The school bus driver has a bus full of children or just a bus. It doesn't have to be a school bus. It can be just a regular transportation bus. And this bus has a whole group of people in it. And each of the people in it um, really are headed towards a different destination. And so they all are getting off at a different place. And this bus just can't, doesn't just, isn't able to just say, well, I, I'm unloading everyone off. Like that's not going to work. You can't just take the bus somewhere and say everyone out. Well, I guess you can, but it's, you're not going to have clients for very long if you do that, right? So um, in order to get out of the Ten of Wands, it's like you have to take this bus and deliver these people to where they're wanting to go. And this can take some time. It can take some time to unload the bus of the Ten of Wands. Um, and it's, it's can be hard sometimes to do it because you have to, um, unless uh, unlike a bus driver who just opens a door and waits for the person to leave, sometimes with the Ten of Wands, you have to push the person out or it's, it doesn't have to be a person. And lots of times it's not a person. Lots of times it's a duty or a, or a task or, or something you've been doing that is just unnecessary, or maybe it's not yours to even do, you know, maybe it's something belief system that you've had, or maybe it is um, something you've been doing for your family or something you've been doing for your spouse or, or, or the way you've been operating at work where you're, seems like you're doing everybody else's work and you don't have time to do your own kind of thing. Whatever it is, there is an exit strategy here that you're implementing. And it could be, um, it could be hard. It could be harder than you think, but actually the 10 of wands, it is how you really find freedom is to unload your bus, right? Unload that truck. Um, and, and like the 10 of wands, you you feel like your bus is full when you start and when you get done, that's when you have this new expansiveness in your life. So I think this group of Capricorn people are making a tra transition in their experience where they're unloading themselves from a lot of different things that have held them down, have weighted them down. Um, and, and now you're moving into a fresh new, a new start in life. So, uh, this is a, and you're moving forward. You're not hesitating. Like you're sure you're going to do this now. 
this is it. You're sure you're going to do this. And whatever the tens of, ten of wands were, whether it was different things that you believed about yourself or all the different things that you were doing for the community, for example, that were just exhausting to you, um, where you felt like you were kind of on your own and everybody, where did everyone go? Like, I thought I was on this journey with a whole bunch of people. And why am I the only one here? Why the only, why am I the only one showing up to do this, right? It's that kind of a feeling with the Ten of Wands. And when I get into this feeling, Capricorn, it's a little bit frustrating when I get into this. I mean, you're, you've been frustrated about this situation. Um, with the world here, it tells me that it's coming to an end. It tells me that you're finding your way out of this. And that's pretty exciting, Capricorn. I'm really proud of you. And um, you've worked hard to get here. So let's look at the situation that's going on around you. And see if we can find out a little bit more about this. Knight of Wands, beautiful, beautiful Knight of Wands. Ace of Cups, the Emperor, ooh, Capricorn, the Magician, and the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, let me get these. Well, 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 my friends, what have we here? Sorry, I can't do accents. I don't know why I even did that, because that's ridiculous, but that's okay. I'm just being myself. You guys are my friends, and you're here. This is what I would be doing if I was... Doing it, giving a reading to, to a person that I knew. This is how silly I am. And I'm going to try to be more of myself in these readings because um, that's all the kind of journey we're all on, right? Is uh, to open up and, and to be more of ourselves in, in, in every moment of the day. So here we have the Knight of Wands. Now this is, this, there's something here that's around you that's moving forward quite passionately. So whether it's a relationship, uh, um, something that you're doing, uh, something that you're doing in life, a hobby or, or a vacation that you're planning. Um, something here is full of passion, full, full of excitement. It's moving forward in a way that you can't hardly contain it. Now the Ace of Cups is next to it, next to the Emperor. Okay, so um, the Magician is next to the Emperor and the Eight of Pentacles is next to the Magician. Um, <laughs> well, I mean, you... you there, there, is there something here that you're totally in love with this? I mean, you are. This is Ace of Cups, is, Cups is, is being in love. And you can be in love with pretty much anything, right? You can be in love with pretty much anything. It doesn't have to be a person, but it definitely could be a person because this is the Emperor Energy He's right next to it. So there could be a person here that is really um, in in your experience, outside in the, in the, in the environment around you, um, feeling passionately about this situation, and um, there's love here, okay? So this could be a job. This could be something exciting that you're planning on doing with someone else in the future. Um, this could be something that's just lighting up your life. Um, it, it's inspiring you. It's, it is making you feel so excited about your life and excited about your future. And you're feeling quite appreciative and reverent for this. Um, it's, it's a very strong feeling is what I get here, Capricorn. Um, I'm going to be going into these energies just a little bit more for sure. And we can dig down into them to see what, see, to see what's here. Um, we do have the magician. So there is an energy of hard work. There's an energy of working on this, bringing this to life, bringing this to fruition. And, um, the magician energy is not just in, in imagination. It's taking action. It's working hard. It's having a vision and then taking action to put the vision into place. Um, the magician uses all the resources at his or her disposal, including the power of the imagination, but also the power of the body, the power of the feet and the arms and the hands and the eyes, uh, because there, there are actions that need to be taken. The magician is not, the, how, what do I say? How do I say this? The magician is always able to change. The magician, magician is always able to do something different or to do something new because that is the part of the, that is a part of the magician energy is to do something different, do something new, do something additional. Um, the magician never stays the same. So whatever you were doing before this happened, you're doing something different now. You're doing something different now. Eight of Pentacles. I mean, you're focused on it and you know that it could be truly abundant and successful in the future. 
nothing else is is distracting you. You're staying. You're you're. This is your target, right? This is your target. You're you're working hard. This is a hard working energy. Whether this is a relationship or a job or something new that you're starting, maybe a new business that you're starting or a family that you're raising or whatever this is. It's something that is work, right? It, and work, sometimes when we say the word work, what does it mean? What does the word work mean? Do you, do you feel excited about this? Is this like your life's work or is this work? I don't think this is work. This is like your life's work, your heart's work, your soul's work. This is focusing on something and, 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 and taking action to bring it into a more successful place. And because you have this love, because you have this inspiration and this, this passion, and it looks like there's a person here, it's, it's like you're only focusing on this. You're, you're taking all of your attention, all of your energy, um, everything here is, is being put into this situation, into this situation. This person could be at work or could be connected to work with you as well. Now, I, I feel like this is a person and I, I'm going to stick with this being a person. This could also be you taking on the energy of the emperor as well. Um, I, I feel it's, it's fair to put that out there. So for some of you who aren't interested in love, um, this is the energy of the emperor, whether the energy of the emperor comes into your experience or into your life as a person, or whether the en energy of the emperor is in your life within yourself, the energy of the emperor is definitely here. And the emperor is a person or an energy that is very specialized, very specialized energy, very empowered energy, very strong. This is an energy that's all knowing, very knowing, um, very sure, very confident, maybe not of everything. Maybe not of everything because the emperor does have some insecurities, right? The emperor does have worries. That's why he likes structure. <laughs> okay. People who like structure oftentimes have worries about things that they cannot control. So the emperor is someone who likes structure, who likes to have things all in place and everything flowing smoothly and likes to know that success is being created, whether this is a person or whether it's an energy within you. Um, we're going to dig deeper into these energies now. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's, where do I even want to start? First of all, I want us to dig into this world energy, the world energy that's here. That's, that's within you. Knight of cups, page of wands. <clears throat> so there's something new and inspiring here. Um, and my throat chakra is being affected now. So. Um, this is something that you may be learning how to say. You're maybe learning how to be expressive within. You're maybe learning how to, uh, um, um, to be willing to move forward into this and to express how you feel because this is a more internal energy here with the Knight of Cups, but it is an energy of love and compassion and kindness and, um, an offering of oneself, right? With the Knight of Cups, you're, you're offering yourself. You're saying, my heart is connected to this. My heart is in this. I am offering my heart in some way or another. And this is done, being done very passionately here with the Page of Wands. There's a very passionate energy here. Messages of passion, messages of excitement, um, and, and a youthful feeling. So whether this is a romantic situation or not, um, you're giving your heart in this situation. That's something that you're willing to give your heart for, to give your emotions to. And, and there are messages going back and forth that are passionate and excite and, and full of excitement. Um, and, and I think you're feeling young and youthful and full of energy again in this world energy. All right. Where do we want to start? Where do we want to start here? Well, let's start with the Ace of Cups and see what we can get out of this Ace of Cups energy. Digging deeper into the Ace of Cups now. Three of Swords. Digging deeper into the Ace of Cups. So there's been a healing here. Look at that heart. It's been re... It's been healed. Look at it. It's shining. It's full of vibrancy. It's full of life. Um, three of Pentacles. Now this could be something that you're working on. Um, let me let me pull the, the last energy here. OK, 
King of Pentacles. So for some of you, well, we see a heart center. We see a mood. We see your emotional state fully recovered now at this point, Capricorn. Fully recovered, alive, vibrant, excited about life, inspired, willing to move forward, giving your heart to something, opening up your heart again, being vulnerable in something and being inspired and vulnerable and really in love with whatever this is. Um, this is different than how you were before. So there has been some real healing that's happened um, for you in the past. It looks like whatever this is, it is a three of pentacles energy. So um, this is something that has already started in some way or another. So it's already gained some ground, whether it's a, a new job or a new project that you have or, or something that you're focusing on now or, or a romantic situation, whatever it is, it's something that you can touch, see and feel. Right? It's something that you're working on. You could be compromising about it. You could be training. You could be receiving re re training or um, you could be training others. Um, it, it could be a small group of people working together. The Three of Pentacles is a very industrious type of energy, um, full of energy, full of industriousness. What's another word I can use? Like just willing to get in it and go, willing to dig in, willing to take ownership of something with the Three of Pentacles. And there is a, a desire to build this into something significant. That's why we have the Eight of Pentacles as well. So there's a desire to build whatever's happening around you into something that is significant, abundant, successful, secure. It's something that can be a long-term success or a long-term relationship. And then we have this King of Pentacles here. Um, let me show you the King of Pentacles. Now the King of Pentacles is a, it's either a person or it's an energy that you're taking on. So I'm going to describe this, this, this card as a person. You can put it however it works with you. Um, but this is a person who, um, is, is very focused on the, the bigger picture, um, of the state of well-being of a home or of a bank account or of a whole, um, um, portfolio of, of ownership of, of a couple or of a person. So this person is usually someone who works very hard to bring in overall success and well-being into the pocketbook or into the home. Um, this is someone who really is, is, is empowered and very um, successful when they have something, a, a strong foundation. So they will work very hard. This kind of person will work very hard to have money, to have money in the bank, to have um, a comfortable home. Um, if this person feels unstable with, with resources and with money, uh, this person will work overly much, perhaps. This person might engage in addictions or in behavior that um, is, is helping him to cope with the insecurity of life. So this person is a very hard worker, looks at the bigger pictures of, of wealth and, and assets and, and liabilities and what he owns and what he owes. And, and, um, he, he, if he's not feeling stable in this, if he's not feeling comfortable with his financial picture, he can become very out of balance and he can work a super long time every day. He could be exhausted. He could lose touch with his family. Um, he could lose touch with himself because he is constantly feeling insecure with his own stability. So this is someone who really focuses on, on bringing in wealth into his, into his kingdom. He, and he cares about his kingdom as well, whatever his kingdom is, whether it's an apartment, whether it's a home in the country, whether it's a big condo in the city, it doesn't matter. This person really cares about his home whether it's a male or female, this is a masculine energy and really works to bring in um, profit, revenue, security, resources that um, help him feel comfortable in the long-term success of and the long-term care and maintenance of whatever is within his kingdom. And this also includes people. So if he's with a family, he does his best to make sure that family is taken care of. Um, if he's with a whole a workplace, if he owns a business or he's involved with a business in some way, he really cares about all of his people and he will make decisions um, for in, in 
to help create long-term success within that business or within that home. Um, he, he looks at a, at his situation in a bigger sense. So he can make big decisions where if you're more in the details, you might question the big decision. You might say, well, what about this situation over here? I mean, how am I going to fund this situation or how am I going to manage to pay for this over here? And he could be saying, well, that's just going to have to figure itself out because this is a decision I'm making because this is going to bring us long-term success. And so he might be willing to, um, let something else that's a smaller situation work itself out in a natural way if he's making a decision that is going to be for the long-term success. So he thinks in a big way, whereas the Queen of Pentacles thinks more in, in a more detailed way about specific subcategories of whatever. So he looks at the big asset and liabilities chart and the Queen of Pentacles looks at all of the sub accounts that make up the, the assets and liabilities. So they think a little bit differently, but they are still both of them. The King and Queen of Pentacles both are working towards success and, and wealth and abundance and comfort in life. So that's the, the energies that revolve around this, this Ace of Cups. So there could be a King of Pentacles here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, could be you or could be um, a counterpart to you with the King energy. Um, and there's something here that you're working on together probably with this person or you're taking on the energy of the King of Pentacles. See, it's interesting how the King of Pentacles is right underneath the Emperor energy. So that's quite interesting. This Emperor energy could be the King of Pentacles. It could also be you really taking control of your own destiny here and making big long-term decisions um, that really can will help um, secure your financial freedom or your financial abundance in your life. Quite interesting. So now we have a King of Pentacles and the Emperor here, which is interesting. Um, let's look at this Knight of Wands. Let's look at this Knight of Wands energy. Knight of Wands energy. Knight of Pentacles. This person could be single. You could be single. Very independent. Could be self-reliant, wealthy even with the Knight of Pentacles. Could have a lot of personal choice. They could have freedom in their life to make decisions um, that could bring joy and happiness and and um, comfort into their own lives. They don't really have to ask anyone else or get permission from anyone else to do that. So this is, and we have the six of pentacles, more pentacles. So we have a lot of pentacles here. This is about groundedness. This is about being practical, um, having things be equal with the six of pentacles. Uh, so this is a person here in your life or in your environment who is excited about something, probably excited about whatever's inspiring him or her, which is also inspiring you as, as well, I'm, I'm sure, because it's here. Um, this person could be feeling quite passionate about this, very excited, uh, could be feeling even very sensual about this, or or if it's not a love relationship, there's a lot of buzz, right? There's a lot of electricity around this. This person is very independent, very self-reliant, um, has enough money to pay his or her bills, put money away in savings, and then take money and, and give it out to the community or spend it in the community somehow. So there's a real balance to this person or to this, even to this situation. I like the fact that the Nine of Pentacles is here and the Six of Pentacles. So there is a focus now on equality. Um, what, whatever is being given out, whatever is, whatever energy is being spent, um, that same amount is being given back. So there is an equal give and take here. Um, it's th this person is interested in, in, in his or her experiences being fair so that they, um, feel like they're not the only ones giving, that they're also, um, getting something in return as well. And this is all about this Knight of Wands energy, a very Sagittarius type energy. Lovers, damn, it's just intense. Lover's energy is a Gemini energy. Um, it's an energy of, it, it, it is two different people or two different energies that are counterpart energies. They're opposite of one another, but they complement one another. When these energies are by themselves, right? When these energies are by themselves, then they must be both energies, right? When this woman is by herself, she has to be very much in balance with her yin and her yang energy. Right. And when this man is by himself, he must be within himself, very balanced in the yin and yang energy. 
when these people come together, they are allowed or they're given the opportunity to focus their, their attention and focus their, and hone their skills and really live in their natural energy. So this woman could live in her natural yin and this man could live in his nat natural yang energy and together they can really produce, right? They have this intense energy, whether they're lovers or whether they are workers that work together in an occupation or in a career or whether there are community leaders that work together, whatever they do, when they come together, things happen. Shit happens when these two people are together. And I don't mean that in a bad way. Now, if these people get toxic or if something is not fair between these two people, um, then it can become um, something that could be quite difficult to work through. But when everything's going well and when these people respect and honor each other, um, this can be a, a very intense, um, loving, intense uh it's it's something that's even hard to describe. Um, if you work together, if you're two businesses that work together, what you produce together is like unheard of. It is amazing. It is incredible. It is off the charts. If you are two people that are together in a romantic relationship, what you guys have together is amazing. It's awesome. It's incredible. It's off the charts. It's not something that happens just any day, right? That's why we have this Knight of Wands energy. It's a passionate forward moving, quick, excitable kind of energy. Now we have to remember that when we have this kind of fast energy that um, we, we need to be cautious with this kind of energy because it can come in fast. It can sweep us off our feet and we are gone before we take time to look at it. And maybe a, a week later or, or a month later, we say, oh, wait a second, I want to put the brakes on here because something doesn't feel right. Sometimes when we enter into relationships like this that are, that are happen, that happen really fast and they're really intense, um, we don't take the time to, um, carefully look at what's happening. We, we just don't give it enough time. Lots of times we just get right into it. Um, we can get caught up in the passion and the excitement of it and we can lose our rationality. We can lose the logic of the situation and we might just flow right into it without questioning anything. So, when something is like this, um, with the Knight of Wands, with the Lover's Energy, with this Ace of Cups, um, it, it is, it is, there is, there is an energy now slightly of caution, um, that, that comes through. Now, that being said, we do have the Six of Pentacles here, which is a really good energy. It's a grounded energy. It's a energy of equality. It's an energy of balance. And we have the Knight of Pentacles here, which is an energy, um, of, of independence and of enjoyment of life and, and having, um, the ability to really make decisions for oneself. So there is some grounded energy here, but it is quite powerful. And you could really be finding yourself being swept off your feet here in the next upcoming time frame. Let's go into this emperor a little, a little bit. Going into the emperor just a little bit here. High priest just flipped over. Didn't come out though, just flipped over. And here we have the tower flipping over. So this could be something... Quite surprising. It could be a big happening. It could be kind of chaotic. We have the Seven of Cups. Four of Wands. That came out. Or Two of Wands, not Four of Wands. And the Hanged Man. Anything else? I want to get an energy for the Two of Wands now. Digging into the Two of Wands energy. King of Cups. Digging into the King of Cups energy. <laughs> Ace of Wands. Okay. We're going to figure this out. Digging into the Ace of Wands. I know you can't see all these energies here. Digging into the Ace of Wands. The Empress. Oh, damn. See, this is what's fun about digging deep. So, okay. How am I going to do this? To clarify the emperor, to clarify the emperor, when we get into the energy of the emperor, the emperor, the, it, I'm, I'm going to talk about the emperor as if the emperor is a person, probably the king of pentacles, but again, it's, it's kind of up to you to kind of figure out where these energies go. Um, we have a person here who has some decisions to make. And I think that his heart is really active. He's really emotional about this. And I think he kind of knows which way he wants to go. But he's not used to being so emotional, this emperor, this emperor energy. This is an Aries energy. 
not used to being so very emotional and not used to being pulled this way and that way. Um, his heartstrings could really be pulled now, um, to Capricorn. So just realize that this person, if this is a person, uh, this is you, you're going to know this as well, but this person is really being pulled this way and that way. Um, he's really trying to make a, um, a heart decision here. Uh, I think he feels for, for some of these options the same way. Now, the, this, wh whatever this is, this person is trying to make a decision here because we have the two of wands next to the seven of cups. Um, it looks like this person has really um, focused on one one option here. I think his heart is really leaning towards one. Um, I think he's eliminated some of the options, whether whether these are ways of doing something, strategies for moving forward, whatever this is that this person is trying to decide on, I think he's eliminated some and has really kind of chosen one, but is still not quite sure, still a little hesitant to step into it. Um, I think that there is a decision here with the two of wands that he's trying to make with a hanged man. So something could have stopped. There could have been something that stopped this situation. A lot of times with a hanged man, it's not like all of a sudden the emperor is like, oh, I better go into the hanged man. It's not usually like that for you, especially how I've experienced a hanged man. So when the hangman comes in for me, there's usually something that requires you to go into the hangman. Nobody likes a hangman. Like the hangman usually comes in at the worst time. Um, you could be going ahead. There could be something that's happening in a very exciting way around you. And then all of a sudden there's some damn thing that happens, right? That puts you into the hangman. It's like the universe coming in and saying, well, we're, we're glad you're excited about this. And we're glad that this is coming into your reality, but something is not exactly right. And so we're going to make you go into the hangman so you can see what it is. And once you see what it is, then you can continue moving forward. That's how it's usually always happened to me. In fact, I'm not even sure. Maybe it's happened other ways too, but that's what's, that's the energy that I'm in. So that's the kind of energy I'm in with this hangman. Now the two of wands, the king of cups came forward for the two of wands. So we have this king of cups. I think this ha does have to do with um, coming in and, cr and creating some sort of healing um, uh, there's a generous energy around this King of Wands. Um, and then we have the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Wands was clarified for the King of Cups. Did I say King of Wands? I meant King of Cups. It's a King of Cups. So this King of Cups, it's a, it's a Scorpio Pisces Cancer energy. It's an emotional energy. Is super inspired by this so it, this is just god hit this is a very creative energy um it's it's a very action oriented he he was wanting to go into action he feels a lot of passion for this he feels excitement about this it really kind of gets his brain going gets his body going um wanting it, it's like there's there's something new here that just has um brought him out of a sleep, perhaps brought him out of a sleep in some way. Um, and he feels pretty inspired. It does feel like a new beginning or something new happening here with the Ace of Wands. Um, and then we have the Empress energy right coming in right underneath the Emperor energy. So I feel like you're the Empress energy Capricorn in this situation. I think that this person is trying to figure out how he's going to help the situation. How is he going to help it? Because the King of Cups really likes to take action to bring healing and revitalization and nourishment and love to a situation. That's what the King of Cups likes to do. He might not be so good at saying the words. Either is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is not so good in saying the words either. Now we have the King of Pentacles out before connected in with this, um, with this Ace of Cups. So there could be a situation here that, that is revolving around money, revolving around stability, um, revolving around like a need to make a long-term business decision, or maybe this person is a business owner. Uh, maybe this person thinks in numbers or thinks in a way that, that, and, and maybe it's you Capricorn with this King of Pentacles. Maybe you're the King of Pentacles where you're making big decisions about your long-term future and your long-term stability. So you're going to know who the King of Pentacles is. All I know is when I go to 
um, clarify the two of wands for this emperor, what comes out here um, is the king of cups. And the king of cups is a very emotional energy, very heart centered, very generous, very warm, um, could get involved and in, in, like to hear other people's stories and could get kind of caught up in other people's stories and want to help people very much of a helper kind of an energy um, thinks really feels deeply feels deeply about situations now this person is in is is super excited or super passionate and here's that knight of wands too so we have the ace of wands with the knight of wands here um, uh, and I think it's a, something about you as the Empress energy. Look at you. It's beautiful. This is a beautiful Empress. So, um, I think that this person, whether it's a work situation or a love situation, sees you as who you are in, in your full glory and in, in, in your full capacity, right? As, as you are as a strong, um, in your own strong feminine energy, um, and, and this is something that's quite attracted to the emperor energy because the emperor energy is the opposite. It's very structured. The, the empress energy is very maternal, very creative, very fluid, um, very inclusive, soft energy, um, passionate about what she believes in, uh, very creative, flows with her emotions. Um, but yet she has this clarity about who she is and, and she knows how to organize her thoughts, right? She's very powerful as a feminine. And here this masculine is seeing you as this feminine that is so attractive because you hold the qualities that he doesn't have. And he has the qualities that you don't have kind of an energy. Um, just as a lover's energy, as I, as I explained it. So. It does look like this is, it could very well be a love story for some of you. For others of you, it's just two people finding this deep connection and understanding the value of one another and trying to overcome some sort of a choice here, a decision that needs to be made about how to really move forward with this. Um, but it does look like some actions are going to be taken here. Some new kind of action is going to be taken with the Ace of Wands connected to the Emperor. So it looks like the Emperor is getting ready to take action towards the Empress. Uh, but first there has to be this choice that's made. And this person is like kind of stuck being forced to think of something that perhaps he or she had forgotten about or hadn't think all the way through or, or something here that's causing this person to, um, to look at this in a, in a slightly different way here with the, with the hangman. Damn hangman. I tell you what. All right. I'm going to pull a card for the magician and then I'm going to move to the extended and in the extended, I'm going to dig into this ace of cups. I'm going to dig into these energies. I'm going to dig into the hangman. I'm going to, I'm going to dig into the emperor. I'm going to see what, um, um, what the emperor, how the emperor feels about you, how his heart center feels about you, what he intends to do. Um, I'm going to look into this, into this ace of cups, the ace of cups energy to see if we can figure out more about that. We'll just dig deeper and deeper and deeper, um, and see what we can uncover here, um, as well. And the knight of wands energy, I want to find out why is it the knight of wands? Why isn't it the knight of cups? Why isn't it the knight of swords? Why is it the knight of and why is it the Knight of uh, the Ace of Wands and why, why is it the Ace of Cups and why is it the Knight of Wands? Right. I'm kind of, I, I'm just curious about these, the, these three energies that are here. Um, so that's what I'll be doing in the extended. But before I go, I want to look at the magician here really quick. Tell me more about the magician energy. Six of Pentacles. So really trying to create some balance. It looks like the emperor here is looking for something that will be fair. Um, that will be a long-term stable proposition. Um, he's looking to, to fit all this together in a way that it will be fair for everyone. So I really like that. I think that's maybe what's taking some time here with this magician energy is really trying to find, maybe there's some negotiation that's taking place or some compromises. Uh, maybe there's, there's waiting for some funding to come in. If this is a business that you're starting, waiting for some money. Um, maybe there's some granting of money. Maybe there's a new client here. Um, that's the emperor type of client that you're super in love with this project. And there's waiting. This person is like accumulating money to, to, to bring in money for this project in some way, you know, how, however, this is, um, however it fits for you. 
All right, Capricorn, I am going to move to the extended now, and we're going to dig deeper into these three energies. We're just going to dig deeper and deeper, and whatever I find, I'll keep looking, and we'll keep seeing what we can find um, in this in this situation. If I have time, um, I'll take it out a little bit into the future and see what the future holds here as well. All right, um, thank you very much, Capricorn. It's a pleasure to read for you. Stay well, stay healthy, and I'll see you back on YouTube in another seven days or so with an update for Capricorn. Thank you.